work in the area. Multiple, multiple targets in one scoop, huh? Yeah. Well, I did manage to pull up a quarter. My Equinox is not working. Lucky enough, Brian brought it. Brought him one for an extra one. Minternet. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're on a roll. First coin. I get the target right here. A lot of trash in this place. And I'll take a few trips to dig it out. Been a lot of burnt aluminum twisted up in little little balls. Not balls, they just twist up a little burnt little. Maybe I'll got this time. Yep. See that's what we're dealing with. That's that's burnt aluminum. Rolled up. Sounds like a coin every time. Keep on digging. I'm not going to show you all the coins that come out of here, but I will show you a couple. I almost look like silver there until you turn it on the side. It's a uh, eighty, eighty-one, something like that. I don't know. All right. Hadn't turned the camera on in a while, so I got a target. I thought I'd pull this one up, check it out, see what it is. That's what it's been, just scrap pieces of here and there. No idea what that is. Alright, we're going to try another part of the island here. What about it, Skipper? We've known well, this. Little, well, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've named this beat, this, uh, this island, Gilligan's Island. Where's the professor at? He's, He's on, on the other, other side, side over there. <laughs> we'll go check him out. So since we're not getting a lot of targets over here, I thought I'd leave the camera on for a little bit and walk across the island, let you see where we're at. I mean, it's a good location. I like it. It's just too much uh, burned up aluminum. Few coins. So I'm going to leave the boat here. We're going to walk across the island. If we find another spot, I'll come back around and get the boat. All right, so stand by. Yeah, we've known this place, Gilligan's Island. Nice little island. They uh, obviously they party out here quite a bit. They got a burn spot, and that's the problem. They're burning up their cans, and living them is end up getting in the water. And sure does sound good. I'll just walk, walk you around, let you see what it looks like through here. Which way are you going, Skipper? Uh oh. Alright, we're meeting up with... Oh, Professor, he's hunting, he's hunting the dirt now. You're not giving up, are you? We got, I think, three more little swim beaches that we're going to check out on this other side of Gilligan's Island. So let's, uh, that one there, we checked it a while ago and it's full of seaweed. You have to wade out through the seaweed first. This right here looks like it's pretty clear though. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can do something with this one. Brian, he won't get that new machine in the water, so oh, pull tab right off on the water. 
Alright, we'll show you if we find anything. Turn the camera on. I think it's a coin. <laughs> I'm going to jinx it, right? Well, got it in the, in the scoop. This is what we're dealing with. A lot of muck and muck. What will it be? There's a coin signal, so I don't expect anything else. There it is. No, it wasn't either. Here it is. Got a dime. Bob just pulled up something unique. So much I've got. Hey, look at that relic. Everybody know what that is, don't you? Nice cool row, your boat is sure. <laughs> yeah, it'll hold an oar. Yep. Maybe too. Maybe it's brass. They are. Yeah. They go brass, heavy too. Well, maybe find the other one. Fair enough. We'll buy it. Well, we'll see. Good job. That's a relic right there. 2728 right here, so I thought I'd turn the camera on. Maybe we can find a coin in this thing. If I can get it up. 26. Order. Just do. Check it out. Oh man! Woo Hit the jackpot. Look at that. Hey Rob, I got a pocket spill. Got three quarters and a dime. Yeah, three quarters and a dime. In one scoop. At the uh, coin spill just now. I'm hitting a 24. So that should be what a, a dime. If I get it up without no problem. I think so. Let's take a look. Yep, no dime. Check this spot a little bit more, maybe there'll be some more coins. Back over to Rob. He hadn't got anything. No precious metal or anything like that. He wanted to show you all that. the muscles in this in this lake. That was just one scoop. Well, they're all going to open up. Well, I'm going to just pop some of them it's not here. Back in the old days, this is what a lot of them lived on out here. Oh, they ate them. I would eat them. You wouldn't eat them? No. I'm not a fishing. No, that's right. Yeah, anyway, now that you look at the muscles. Look at the muscles. Can you show us something good? Yeah, that's not. That's fine. I might not even. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Stay with us. We're going to do something. No, no, I didn't. But I wanted to show this to you. This comes from the previous hunt. And I filmed it, but somehow I lost the film. It on. So at least I want to get it on. Uh, on film. <laughs> and and when, I, when I found that, it's strange. I don't know if it was a live condition or whatever like that. And of course, I had people around me. I thought it was gold. And it is 925, but... You know, it looks good. I don't know if they put real stones in, in, in silver or not, do they? Once in a while, they put them in diamond. I've even seen them in the uh, tungsten. Well, I've got, I've got tested. I'm going to test them out, but of course, Linda... That was the day after Linda's birthday, so I said, well, this is late birthday present. It has a gold look. Well, when it come out, I thought, oh, that's gold. And I just stuck in my pocket, you know, and dealt with it. But I wanted to show it to you, but I did not find that out here, so I want to make sure everybody knows that. But that's what we're looking for anyway. There you go. Well, I was over there minding my own business, and I heard this boom! But he's done hollered out it's not a precious metal, but it is a ring. And boy, we worked hard out here in this, this garbage pit, I guess you could call it. Beautiful area. It just hadn't been anything come up until now. Okay. 
Silver, little silver tow ring. Little silver tow ring, I believe. What do you think? Out there floating by neck deep, one floats by your face. <laughs> you found that and produced a baby root. Mm. Very nice. Well, we, got, we got two out here. We're wait until the last few minutes to get them. Huh? Tell how many times we walk by it. Say, don't tell how many times we walk by it. I mean, it's just a little video thing. It has, yeah. Yeah, worn, worn down. I missed some acid in this water. So it, it eats them pretty, pretty good. Alright, we're back from a new spot. It didn't really materialize very good. Thank you, Brian, for the spot. I'm gonna show you what we what we did end up digging. Lots and lots and lots of scrap. Just tons of it. Rob did too, but I'll get to his in a minute. Uh Dick did some change. 
think I got two bucks and quarters, a bunch of dimes, pennies. End up pulling one little silver ring out at the last minute. A little bit child's ring. And I've got to show you that one from another day. I told you the story about it in the, in the videos. Brian came out with several coins also. He got, uh, looked like a buck and a half of quarters and dimes, pennies, big Caribbean. I, like I said, I've seen those for about eight bucks. Big old chunk of lead. That might be a three ringer at one time. <laughs> Rob, I think he wins. I think he dug more targets than I did. I'm trash, man. <laughs> trash. That's a lot of Everything. We cleaned, cleaned up the beach anyway. Rob's artifact for the day. Rowboat handle. Solid brass. Yeah. That's, it's like a hill plate. Stainless steel Caribbean. A few coins. He wasn't really after the coins. He said he wasn't going to dig coins. I uh, got two vape cigarettes and he got a little ring also. We think that was probably gold plated one time because it's got some spots still left on the on the ring that looks like gold. So it didn't really pan out like we thought we were going to, but we dug about five hours and we had a good time. Thank you guys. That's a wrap. All right, we're back from a new spot. It didn't really materialize very good. Thank you, Brian, for the spot. I'm going to show you what we what we did end up digging. Lots and lots and lots of scrap. Just tons of it. Rob did too, but I'll get to his in a minute. Uh, Dick did some change. I think I got two bucks and quarters, a bunch of dimes, pennies. Ended up pulling one little silver ring out at the last minute. Will be child's ring, and gotta show you that one from another day. I told you the story about it in the in the videos. Brian came out with several coins also. He got uh, looked like a buck and a half of quarters and dimes, pennies, big Caribbean. I, like I said, I've seen those for about eight bucks. Big old chunk of lead. That might be a three ringer at one time. <laughs> Rob. I think he wins. I think he dug more targets than I did. I'm trash, man. <laughs> trash. That's a lot of Everything. Digging. We cleaned, cleaned up the beach anyway. Rob's artifact for the day. Rowboat handle. Solid brass. Yeah. That's, it's like a hill plate. Stainless steel Caribbean. A few coins. He wasn't really after the coins. He said he wasn't going to dig coins. I uh, got two vape cigarettes and he got a little ring also. We think that was probably gold plated one time because it's got some spots still left on the on the ring that looks like gold. So it didn't really pan out like we thought we were going to but we dug about five hours and we had a good time. Thank you guys. That's a wrap.